That's right, Maribel. This is the disturbance we've been watching the past few days. It's become better organized. It's a large area of low pressure that the Hurricane Center is indicating is likely going to become a tropical storm before it approaches the Leeward Islands, hence issuing this potential tropical cyclone number nine advisory as of 11 a.m. So it is located 585 miles east southeast of the Leeward Islands, moving quickly to the west at 23 miles an hour with max sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. And as we look at that forecast track, likely going to be moving through portions of the Leeward Islands as we get into late tonight or tomorrow morning, and then eventually could be over Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands before it makes its way towards a parts of Hispaniola and then the southwestern Bahamas, possibly by Friday morning. Notice how as we get into the weekend time frame, parts of South Florida are included in that cone of uncertainty, meaning that this is definitely one we have to watch closely. Now is the time either way to be prepared and remain vigilant, especially with a possible threat to South Florida this weekend. Now the computer models are tightly packed together, indicating that this will continue to move west northwest. But then after we get into the weekend, that's when we see that turn to the north possibly. But will it be more of the Bahamas or will it be more to our south or possibly over South Florida? It's still too soon to say the exact impacts. But for now, we absolutely need to closely monitor it. Tropical storm warnings have been issued for much of the Leeward Islands as well as the U.S. and British and Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And we'll take a closer look at some other issues that may be impacting this system as it moves closer to us, including some Saharan dust and our local forecasts in a few minutes.